So your student walks in and uh, right off the bat you have a really good opportunity to help welcome them into the culture, not just to teach them how to ski, but to help them learn what it means to be part of that culture and to welcome them into our sports as a way to encourage them and help them develop. As a student, when you're coming in, especially as a never ever student that hasn't done it before, you probably haven't ever strapped in ski boots or snowboard boots and then all of a sudden, half hour later on your first session, you're going to be able to learn how to carve that doesn't normally happen on the real snow, it takes a lot longer to be able to learn those skill sets. Take that time to develop a friendship with them, build some rapport, create a special handshake or, or high five, really have fun with that student. And actually having fun is one of the key principles of learning. So one of our core concepts is safety, fun, and learning as the pathway to success. If your student is safe, they're gonna be able to have fun. If they're having fun, they're gonna be able to learn. And that's really a key thing to keep in mind throughout your lesson. Make sure they're being safe, make sure they're having fun, and if they're doing all of that, they're gonna end up learning. Still in section one, after the introduction, you have a stance. And if you've never snowboarded before, if you've never done any board sports before, the stance can be a little unique. And so you wanna take time with your student and learn what that stance is. Are they goofy foot, right foot forward like I am, or are they, regular foot, left foot forward, like Chris is. Some of them might have skateboarded or surfed before or done some other kind of board sport that where they have an idea of which way they want to go forward. That's great. If they know, let them choose which way they want to go. If they've never done a board sport before, there's a couple different ways that we can help them find out. The, the first easy one is just which foot would they kick a soccer ball with? Um, it, that's usually their dominant foot and that's gonna be our back foot. So if I would kick my soccer ball with my right foot, that's gonna be my back foot. I'm gonna be left foot forward or a regular snowboarder. If I would kick that soccer ball with my left foot, that would make me a goofy snowboarder. I'd ride with my right foot forward. Uh, another way you can check that is just simply are they right-handed or left-handed. Generally speaking, a right-handed person is going to snowboard with their left foot forward. A left-handed person is going to snowboard with their right foot forward. Not always, but general rule of thumb. Another way you can test this is just give them a, a real gentle push from on the front of their shoulders. If they step back with their right foot, they're probably a left foot forward snowboarder. If they step back with their left foot, they're probably a right foot forward snowboarder. Once you know whether they're regular or goofy, you're gonna to wanna to set up the bindings on the board facing that correct direction. So either right foot forward or left foot forward. For the student who hasn't ever snowboarded before, just the simple thing of getting your boots on is key. It's crucial. It's the first thing of the equipment that's onto you. And so you wanna make sure that your boots fit nice and snug. So get your pair of socks, pull them tight, make sure there's no wrinkles or bunches or anything else. So there we go. Got the sock fitting. There we are, nice and snug. No wrinkles are underneath and we can put the boots on right away. So as we tie the boots, most boots have two levels, an in inside and an outside. And so you wanna make sure that the inside, nice and snug. So if you think of what a good firm handshake feels like, it's what you want around your foot. So we got the lacing on the inside first then the lacing on the outside. When you're working the laces, you wanna go bottom top. So get the bottom of the laces, even in traditional laces, uh, I wanna make sure that the bottom is nice and snug first, and then we can work on the top. So there we go. Get these laces out of the way. There we are. So boot one, we're good. Boot two, working. Inside laces first, nice and snug. Like I said, just like a firm handshake around your foot and ankle. There we are. I got the laces, get the lower outside laces first. Now we got the top laces. There we are, get, the, get these laces out of the way. So for the student that has never ever put on a pair of boots, very simple. Your feet should feel nice and comfortable, firm. There shouldn't be too much movement. There shouldn't be any pain. If you have any pain, you're gonna start losing feeling, losing sensation. Uh, that's not gonna be a good thing. You're not gonna be able to control your board the way you want to. And it's just not gonna be fun.